Girl, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your husband, and hide your damn dog. This bitch out here catfishing every damn body. <laughs> I'm a little, ooh, 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 ooh. y'all already know when I started off like that, bitches with the wheel banger. If you ain't got you one of these, go get you one of these. Look here. Before we get into this review, if you ain't done so just yet, go ahead, church announcements. As always, go subscribe to my channel. Before you leave, let me know you stopped by. Make sure your notification bells is turned on so you can get this hot fire whenever it's ready. Y'all. This dog on review, this dog on review finna be lit because this dog on show, this episode right here had me hot. D Goddamn Texas can't be on the map for no good shit for nothing, man. Just when you thought we was done with this bitch, here she go again. Shady's back, back again. Y'all, hopefully y'all are ready for this review. I'm telling you, if y'all ain't got y'all nothing to drink, bitch, you better go get you something to drink. Hopefully you ready for this review because I'm damn sure ready to give it to you. So let's go and get right on up into it. All right, y'all look here. It's hot. I'm tired and I ain't have time to memorize none of my notes. So look here. If you see me looking to the side a little bit, that's just because I'm reading my notes. Y'all, we are in season eight, episode 10 of Catfish. I realized that I didn't give y'all the title of what we doing. Y'all, this is Catfish. Gemini and Miranda. Look here. So baby girl Tatiana, she actually reached out to me and Cam. She was like, look here. This new dude that I'm dating, his name Gemini, whatever. First of all, they from H-Town, Texas, stand up all day. Even though we got a bunch of fucking crazies out here. Even got the goddamn coronavirus out here. Bitch, Texas stand up all goddamn day. Look here. Tatiana say she been talking to this nigga named Gemini for the last three weeks, right? Now, beforehand, he was talking to this bitch named Miranda for the last seven years. But now, him and Miranda, they go off and on. One minute she in, one minute she out. Next minute she cool, next minute she not. Whenever she's out the picture, it's because she done started some drama. She started up some shit, then the bitch bounced, and he ain't heard from her ass in a little while, right? Now, girlfriend Tatiana, like, look here. I ain't on no jealous girlfriend type of shit like that. Look here. This chocolate already melting, baby. I call myself trying to do a little workout earlier. Now, bitch can't come down from that guy. Then you gotta get that second win when you work out. Who bitch? I can feel it running through me. Look here. Tatiana said, look here. I ain't on no jealous girlfriend type shit. But uh, I'm gonna need y'all to get this bitch because she don't know me. And she started some drama. And look here. You know, you don't start nothing, won't be nothing. I'm just gonna need y'all to get this bitch. Make sure I ain't got to cut her goddamn ass, right? So they end up calling um Tatiana and Gemini, reaching out to them on FaceTime. Now Gemini looked like he already over this shit. Like, man, this bitch really we got girl. Three weeks in and this shit you pull. Oh, you know. All right, it is what it is. So he says that he ended up meeting Miranda through this other bitch named Danielle. That's his homegirl, right? He says that Danielle and Miranda used to be dancers together. Danielle ended up introducing Miranda and him together. They exchanged phone numbers, and that's how they ended up talking, right? Now, again, they've been talking off and on for seven years or whatever, right? Now, he says the one thing about Miranda, she got a fucked up attitude. She'll snap at any goddamn time. That that's why their relationship has been off and on. One minute she there, the next minute she not. Like he says, she'll come in, she'll do some wild, crazy, fucked up shit, and then she'll leave with a bunch of drama and shit going on. Bitch be M.I.A. like Marion. He don't know where the hell this whole done went. Now, he says he had met Danielle in real life. He was at like a, I think it was either a photo shoot or a music video. He had met Danielle. They was chopping it up, whoop de whoop yada, yada, yada. But... Uh, Miranda never came up in the conversation. So Neva Cam is like, well, that, that's fucking strange. So you actually know Danielle. You done met her in real life. Reach out and touch a bitch. But Miranda never came up in the conversation or whatever, right? Now, he says that him and Miranda fell off. They hadn't been talking for a while. Danielle ended up sending him a message saying, you need to contact Miranda ASAP. He's like, what the fuck done happened to the bitch? I don't know. Like I say, he needs to call this bitch. He ended up calling Miranda. She like, oh, hey, what's good? What's popping? He like, well, bitch, you tell me. Your homegirl done told me to call you. I oh, know. I was just missing you. I was trying to see what's up. 
bitch, the fuck? You done almost gave me a goddamn heart attack. I almost catch a stroke behind your goddamn ass. She was like, nah, done. I was just missing you. And now they back on and they cool or whatever, right? So girlfriend was like, see, this shit I need you to help me with. Because like I said, I don't want to cut this bitch. But now she in and I'm in right damn now. So I'm going to need you to get her. So I got cut, bitch, you know? And when they ended up meeting up with Gemini, they actually got a little bit more information from him. Now, the reason why he was holding on to Miranda for so long, he actually, had a con actually contemplated taking his own life. And so she was there for him at a real rough time or whatever, right? So he just felt like that was somebody that he needed to hold on to, whatever, right? Now, Cam said, okay, now tell me what happened when you met homegirl Danielle again in person because I just don't understand that shit. So he said he was at a photo shoot, music video, whoop de whoop, whatever the fuck it was he was there he met danielle they were sitting it up they was chopping but miranda never came up in the conversation came like you sure this the hell for you was talking to though like did the conversation seem off did it seem weird he was like well no nah, you know like like i met her you know everything seemed cool or whatever kim was like mm, i don't know something something don't seem right for that my head itches something don't seem right from that Send us all the information that you got. You already know. We finna go back to our little low spot. Do some investigation. See what the fuck we can find out. Because it's just some in my gut say that shit ain't right. All right, y'all. So Neve and Kimmy doing their investigation like they do. First, they end up searching Danielle. Because they was like, okay, if this bitch is real, he said he actually met her. Let's check this hoe out. See what the hell she know. He has her Facebook information, right? They look up her Facebook. Don't find a whole lot. Do an image search on her picture. End up finding an Instagram where she got 2.6 million followers. Bitch got the blue check and everything. Hoe is certified. Neve's like, okay, well, this don't seem like this. Let me send the blue check mark ig a message let her know hey bitch look what's good this poppin your local need catch a catfish and catfishing bitch out here catfishing motherfuckers y'all know what the hell i'm trying to say look here it's somebody out here trying to catfish motherfuckers do you using you i don't need you to goddamn call me back so after they send her a message they try to look up miranda's pictures do a search on that don't find nothing lo and behold doggone um danielle ends up facetiming neve and cammy neve was like what's up it's your nigga neve look here look the reason why i reached out to you is because we got reason to believe somebody out here catfishing motherfuckers using your photo so do you happen to know this nigga named gemini she was like no nah, i don't know nobody named gemini I'm like what, what, what the hell is really going on he was like well he seems to know you because he said he met you y'all was at a music video or photo shoot or something like that and you was chopping it up y'all was talking she was like look here i meet a million motherfuckers every day nigga i got 2.6 milli it could have been any goddamn body. Now, she didn't say it like that. But she was like, you know what I'm saying? I talk to a lot of goddamn people, but uh, I could have been talking to his ass, but I don't know who the fuck that nigga is. And he was like, well, that's weird because he said that he had met you on Facebook and that you introduced um him to her home, to your home girl, this and the other. She was like, my nigga, I ain't even got no damn Facebook. I'm an IG bitch. Did you hear what I said? I got 2.6 milli, nigga. I don't need face of the book. Nigga, I'm straight over here. Leave like, word. All right, well, you know what, Lamont, we sure appreciate your time. If we need something from you, bitch, stay on standby because you never motherfucking know. Child, next thing you know, they try to search Miranda's photos. They don't find nothing on Miranda's photos, right? They search the phone number. It comes up. You know how they blur the first name. We just going to say Myrtle. Myrtle Taylor. Cammy like, Myrtle Taylor? Bitch, ain't that a... Uh... What's her whole name from, um, you know that, that bok bok bitch. What's her whole name? Neve was like, uh-uh, bitch, I know you're not. Can't you say, wait a minute. That's Ashley Taylor's grandmama that passed away name. That's that whole grandmama name. Neve say, bitch, I know you lying. Can't you say, look that hoe up. I, I, I bet 20 motherfucking dollars. Look that hoe up right goddamn now. Neve say, bitch, let me look at the, bitch, is that the same for, oh, Bitch, bingo, we got motherfucking action. This hoe done did it again. Bitch, the bok bok bitch done struck a goddamn again. Y'all know Ashley Taylor? The, the one that represented my city so goddamn bad. Child, the bitch is at it again. She out here catfishing and fish catting motherfuckers again. Need say, this hoe done lied to me. This bitch look me right in the player face and lied to me. Cam said, look here, this hoe got me fucked up. What we finna have to do, we finna have to go get some of her people, round up some people we know, we finna have to intervention this hoe. 
Interventionist hoe. She done already got two of my good people like this. My nigga Red, now my nigga Gemini. No. We need an interventionist hoe. Neve say, you know what? I'm finna get on that shit. So Neve and Cammy end up going back to Gemini. They give him the scoop on his little homegirl, Danielle. That nigga face cracked. Cause he really thought he was talking to this bitch that knew him. That whole know who the fuck he got there was. Then they play him a clip from the show. Let him listen to the voice of Ashley. Neve said, I'm gonna play you something, my nigga. I just want you to listen to this. Tell me, do this whole sound familiar to you? They start playing and he like, wait a minute. Bitch, I know. I know that hoe. Bitch, that's Miranda. Neve said, no, my nigga. I'm gonna show you who the fuck it really is. He shows him the clip of when Ashley came out with Red when they was at the park when she almost got into a with my nigga Cameron. She was about to square up and put them fiery hands on her ass. When I had to tell her, bok, bok, bitch, you call me a bird. Bok, bok, bitch. Child, he was like, oh, word. Nee said, I know you shocked, my nigga, because I was too. Pick your motherfucking face off the floor. Look here, we finna go intervention this hoe. We finna find some people that she know. We gonna round up some people that we know, and we finna go intervention this hoe. You down? Goddamn Jim and I say, hell yeah, this bitch done ruined seven years of my goddamn life. Child, so they end up doing a search and find Ashley's actual Instagram. It was either Instagram, Facebook, one of them anyways. They search through until they end up finding somebody that posted something recent on her page from some chick named Tamiqua Lynn saying to call me. They ended up reaching out to Tamiqua Lynn. Neve was like, you already know, look y'all, I'm Neve. <laughs> Your home girl is in some bullshit. Call me back. Baby, when I tell you Neve didn't even hit in good on that damn phone. Tamika Lynn called back yes, I already know what the bitch up to. What the fuck you need me to do? The bitch been doing this shit. I didn't know it was this goddamn bad. Neve like, look here, um, we trying to catch home girl up. Cause you know what I'm saying? She done struck again. Got another one of my good, good homeboys. So, uh, what's good? Goddamn Tamika Lynn was like, man, I seen that shit. She made us all look bad, son. Whatever you need a nigga to do, I'm down. They end up calling Red and he was like, hey, my nigga was up. Red was like, my nigga was up. And he say, bitch, you ain't gonna believe what the fuck done happened. Goddamn bok bok bitch out here. Bok bok a bitch again. Red said, oh, what the fuck you need me to do? I'll be on the first thing smoking to come get that whole knee. Say, you ain't got to worry about a bitch. Pack an overnight bag. We already got your ticket, ho. So the next day, Neve, Cammy, Gemini, and Red actually ride out to Colleen to meet with um Ashley's people. Her friend Tamika Lynn, who's been knowing her since she was three years old, and this guy named Derek, who is also from the same town as Ashley, has grown up with her, knows the bitch inside and out right now. They said that she has been bullied a lot. You know, she's always been plus size. And because of her being bullied, she's felt like she's had to build up this wall, like this tough exterior and that's why she is the way she is. It can't be like, I don't give a uh, damn, goddamn. But look here, the bitch gonna have to have a come to Jesus moment and realize you can't be out here catfishing bitches and doing shit like that. That shit ain't right. Neve, go call this hoe. Don't let her know what we doing. But call this hoe. Neve say, you ain't got to say nothing but a motherfucking word. Neve ended up calling up Ashley. He was like, hi, ho, what's good? Ha. <laughs> You know what it is? Ashley was like, mm -hmm, hey, Neve. Kind of like I was expecting your call. Like, bitch, you, you got an attitude through the damn phone when you answer? He was like, well, bitch, um, you already know what time it is. You know what's good, what's popping, where we gonna meet, what it is. I got Gemini. He know you ain't you. Where we gonna meet at home? Child, she gonna tell Neve, I'll let you know if I wanna do it tomorrow. I, I, I just can't talk right now. I'll let you know if I wanna do it tomorrow. Hang up on his ass. You bitches gonna get enough of hanging up on my nigga Neve. Y'all starting to piss me off with that goddamn shit. Next day, though, the whole end up dude end up texting and was like, look here, I can meet y'all here, whoop de whoop, yada, yada, yada. So what had happened was, Gemini, Neve, and Cammy, they go out to meet with Ashley. Red, Tamika Lynn, and Derek, they all in the room watching on camera, seeing all the shit go down. So when they bring their hoe in the room, it can be like, bitch, surprise, intervention on your catfish ass. You know what I'm saying? So, girl, they standing there. Ashley come walking in with a whole fucking attitude. No, I take that back. She didn't have an attitude until she opened her mouth. 
Soon as she walked in, me was like, well, bitch, surprise, surprise. Here we are again. She was like, hi, hello, 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 hello. Jim and I was like, I just want to know why. Like, why did she do that for me? Like, what did she want for me? <laughs> I haven't seen nothing from you. I was like, see, bitch, there you go. You could have had a little bit of sympathy from somebody. It wasn't until you opened your wide ass mouth with that goddamn attitude that don't nobody give a goddamn about what the hell you got to say after that. Child shit went left after that. He was like, damn, ho. What you catching a goddamn attitude with me for? She was like, look, it was just a joke. And besides, you know, anyway, he kind of like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, bitch, I'm what? Well, you kind of slow. So I fucking lost it. Bitch, did you say this nigga is slow? I was going to say some shit, but I'm not. I'm going to let y'all think about it. I'm not going to say some shit. I'm like, bitch, let's not talk about people now. Let's not do it. Because, bitch, the man in the mirror that you look at can have a lot of shit to say. You, bitch, you goddamn it, you. But you call a nigga slow. Finally, after going back and forth, they end up getting this bitch in the intervention room. Soon as she walk in there, she see everybody else. She licking Eve. Oh, bitch, you set me up, ho. Really? This how you gonna do a catfish bitch like me? You just gonna call in some people that know me in real life that can call me out of my bullshit, nigga? You really gonna do that shit to me? All right. It's all good, nigga. It's all good. What? Y'all, what? She sat down with a whole attitude. Tamika Lynn was not giving z not now no the fucks. She was like, look here, bitch. Oh, you need to talk. You catch attitude with me all you want to, bitch, because you already know I go toe to toe for your goddamn ass. Look here. You catch an attitude with these people. You hurt these people, and it's wrong. She's smiling at the camera. Ashley was just being a bitch. Smiling at the camera like it wasn't nothing. Finally, she was like, you know what? Tamika Lynn was like, you know what? You lie about this. You lie about this. You lie about having a fake ass husband. Yeah, your smile went away, didn't it, bitch? You ain't got no goddamn husband with your lying ass out here. Goddamn ass, she was done there. She was like, you know what? I'm not doing this. I'm getting up. I'm going. I'm leaving. She got up, goes to the bathroom, starts boo-hoo crying. Derek, her other home uh, childhood friend, goes in there and in the bathroom trying to console her and was like, look here, like, do you feel like you're being attacked? Like, she was like, yeah, they're attacking me and they just don't know what I've been through in the last three years and my husband, what my husband been doing to me for the last three years. People just don't know what I've been through. You believe this hoe? Because I don't believe this hoe. Okay. That's how Need was kind of looking at the homeboy like, you gonna see, oh, you gonna call this bitch? Okay, we gonna do it your way then. Finally, Derek gets her to calm down. She's like, look, can let me go ahead and get through this because I'm tired. I'm ready to go. I, uh, I'm, I'm ready to do some other shit but to be goddamn here. Child, she goes back in the goddamn intervention room, sits down at the table. So, Tamika Lynn was like, look here, I didn't mean to pry about your husband, whatever, but let's talk about it. How long y'all been together? How y'all meet? And she was like, oh, we met online. We met on Facebook. And um, he lost his job. And it was just a downward spiral from there. And he was like, oh, yeah? She was like, yeah. And he said, y'all still together? She was like, yeah. And he said, oh, yeah. What's the nigga name? She said, what's his name? Name? Um, Like the name I call him? Uh, his, his, well, his, gun, his name name is Sergio Geronimo Perez. <laughs> I can't say shit straight now. Bitch, homegirl sitting on the side looking like, bitch, if you don't sit up here, goddamn. <laughs> Sergio Geronimo Perez, bitch, if you don't quit. <laughs> Whew, yeah, I had to catch my goddamn breath. Cam was looking at her like, look here, Ashley, I'm going to tell you this. Because I think we can be real with each other, girl. I don't believe a goddamn thing come out your mouth. But why I want to see you win, bitch. I want to see you win. I want to see you do something great. So you got to realize that, bitch, you enough. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I know I can be what I want to be. If I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to be. Bitch, but you can't be out here catfishing bitches and fish catching bitches and all of that. You just can't goddamn do it. Child, this goddamn Ashley say when she get in the car, she gonna do some soul searching. 
Bitch, who you and Sergio Geronimo? <laughs> I about goddamn died when that heifer say, bitch, it took her 5,100 seconds just to get that nigga name out, Sergio Geronimo Perez. That's his name. Jim, like, look here, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, bitch. Can we talk in private? Can we rap a taste for a minute? Ash say, no, Lord, please, no. He said, oh, oh, bitch, oh, you still got attitude. Look here, ho. Never mind me, bitch. Hopefully, you'll find the best in your goddamn life. Live a good life. Live your life footloose and fancy free. But, bitch, don't be out here catfishing no goddamn body. She said, okay, you have a safe flight home. Like you ain't nothing. Child, so she hugs Neve. She hugs Cammy goodbye. They said they did like a little follow-up or whatever. Now, Tamika Lynn, I think Gemini, just Tamika Lynn and Gemini, both of them said they ain't talked to her. Ashley claimed that she ain't catfishing nobody no goddamn more. She out here fucking soul searching, trying to live her best goddamn life. Bitch, you're lying. You're lying, and the truth ain't in your goddamn ass. Look here, if y'all see this episode, y'all know this shit was crazy. If it was anything I missed, y'all already know. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I appreciate y'all for watching, and your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.